Welcome back to Smart Biology Tricks. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a metabolism. So metabolism means it is a chemical reaction that takes place in every living organism. So we can say the small minute living organism that is microorganism, that is pro uh, prokaryotic organisms, bacteria, fungi, all these organisms also involves in metabolism. So metabolism means it is a living chemical reactions that is involved in all the type of living reactions, living organisms. So let's see the definition of the uh, metabolism. So that is a term that denotes the entire biochemical reactions that takes place in the living organisms. So, so the collective form of the chemical reactions that takes place inside the living organisms. So what are all the chemical reactions that are essentially used for creation of the living organisms? So every day in our body, the new cells are formed to replace the old and dead cells, right? So all these formation of new cells and enlargement and growth of the organisms that primarily denotes on the metabolism process. That is all energy production and energy utilization and the storage of the energy process that is involved in all the living organisms. Let's see the different types of the metabolism. So metabolisms are broadly classified into two categories, those are all anabolism and catabolism. In case of anabolism, that is a synthesized process of the uh, biomolecules. It is a building up process. And catabolism is a degradation or energy breakdown process, right? So during the formation of catabolism, the energy molecules, ATP molecules are being exposed and released into the cells. In case of anabolism, the energy is being consumed for the synthesis of large molecules, right? So generally, anabolism means it is a synthesized process. The large molecules are being created from the small molecules. So that is a synthesized process. For example, the number of monomers. You can see the individual uh, uh, structures are all in considering it is a monomer, right? So these monomers are joined together to form a polymer. So upon utilizing energy molecules, so here the energy molecule, ATP molecule is being utilized for the synthesis of the large molecules, polymer molecules. So here the energy is imbusted. So this is energy consuming phase of the metabolism and also it is an energy investing phase. In case of catabolism, here the polymers, the large polymers are broken down to form single single uniform monomers. Here the uh, monomers are formed upon from the, uh, the process, the energy is being created. So in this process, energy is yielding, energy yielding process. But here the anabolism is an energy consuming process. Here is energy is utilized. But in case of catabolism, energy is produced. So the collective form of anabolism and catabolism that is commonly uh, called as metabolism. So this metabolism as like definitions, as we have already mentioned in definitions, this metabolic process is involved in all the living organisms. Whatever it may be, it is a unicellular or multicellular, all the kind of living organisms are carrying out the chemical reactions that are co collectively known as metabolism. One is building up process and another one is breaking down process. So building up process means anabolism is building up process and catabolism is a breaking down process. So apart from these pathways, the another pathway, amphibolic pathway is there. So amphibolic pathway is a combination of both anabolic and catabolic reactions, right? So where in the, inside the cells, the amphibolic pathway takes place that consider both the combination of anabolic and catabolic pathways. So always inside the cell, right? It might be prokaryotic or eukaryotic cells. So anabolic pathway and catabolic pathway are interconnected. But the term is used to denote intermediary metabolism, right? So intermediary metabolism means the connection between the anabolism and catabolism, right? So this is the 
meaning of intermediary metabolism that is a new term that apart from our class our topic we have discussed the new term that is intermediary metabolism so i hope you have understood the fundamental concept of metabolism so thank you everyone smart biology